I have a story. It's about breakfast. Well, in my first year in college, I was eating special cake for breakfast on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And my classes during those days would be um, organic chemistry and calculus, look back to back. And by the end of calculus, I would be washing the clock and counting the minutes down so that the class would be over so I can run to the dining hall and get some food to eat. Versus on Tuesday and Thursday, I had time so I could go and get my um, like full plates of eggs and bacon and sausages and potatoes, really greasy potatoes in the dining halls. Um, what I turned out is that I didn't remember anything from organic chemistry and calculus and I remembered everything from the class on Tuesday and Thursday which was cell biology. Might be the reason why I became a biology major. But at the end of the semester, um, the organic chemistry and calculus were my first seeds of my entire life and I almost cried when I saw my transcript. Which was okay, but what I figured out is that my brain loves it when I had the plates full of eggs and sausages and greasy potatoes. And that was my key to getting my A's. So in my next semester, I actually managed to do that every day and I figured out that I need some meat every morning in order to function because if I didn't have that, um, I would just crash within like an hour in breakfast around at, at as, as if um, I hadn't eaten anything or I would be even more hungry than when I started. So the moral of the story, eat some meat for breakfast. And Five years later, after I finished my undergrad and I'm in grad school now and I got into fitness, there's this thing called the Polar Queen Meat and Nut Meat and Nut Breakfast. And I was like, whoa, somebody actually trademarked this. This is so cool. Um, so he Polar Queen is a really famous uh, athletic coach and he tells everyone to eat good quality meat. If you can get grass fed organic, then you get the really fatty cut and vegetables and some raw nuts for breakfast. And it actually makes me feel like a rock star. So, and the last thing it did for me was it turned me from a C student to an A student. So, give this a try and let me know if it changes the way your brain functions or how you feel in general. Um, no, sometimes I feel bad when I see people eating breakfast cereals because I wonder how much it actually robs these people of their potential. So if you want to know how I become so smart, that's the first thing you would try.